Hey you guys, let's go ahead and look at this. Uh, these problems are going to help us to realize maybe a shortcut that can help us in the future. Uh, it's called the product rule, which you'll see on the next slide. So on this first problem, b to the power of 6, uh, notice in the second column it wants this in expanded form, so that's what I'm going to do. So there I have 6 b's being multiplied by each other, which is what the exponent 6 told us there. And then I've got this b squared, which I'm going to put in purple, which is also being multiplied by that b to the power of 6. All right, now looking at this, we can see that all of these bases are the same, right? It's just a bunch of b's being multiplied together. So if we were to write this now in exponential form in this second column, we have a base that's b, and then how many times is it being multiplied by itself? And we can go ahead and count those. And if you did, you would find that there were eight of these b's. And the next problem will work the same way. I'll do y squared in brown. I've got y to the 10th power in red. And then I'll do y to the 4th in purple here. So once again, we just see right here that it's just a bunch of y's being multiplied together. I don't have a lot of room there in that third column. But I can still write it here. So we have a base that's y. And how many of those do we have? If we count those, you see that we have 16 of them. So what I'm going to do here on this next one is I'm going to expand this whole one, uh, 3x squared y here in red, and then I will also expand 2x squared y squared in purple. And what I would want to do next here, and some of you guys wouldn't even need to do this, but I'm going to show you just because it, it kind of may help some people to understand what's happening here. I'm going to use the commutative property of multiplication in order to move some of these terms around because all of this is multiplication here so even though I have some x's here I can move them over here in front of the y because the order that we multiply these in will not matter and this is what we have now so if I just focus on the like terms we got 3 times 2 which is 6 and then we've got these x's being multiplied together and there's 4 of those and then we also have these y's so that's y to the power of 2. y is the base. It's being multiplied by its, itself there twice. So what is it that we should be noticing in all this? Well, if we use this middle example here with the y's, then we can, uh, or hopefully we can see by now that the base is not changing, but what we did with the exponents, right, is we took them and we ended up adding them together. And this is the product rule for exponents because 2 plus 10 plus 4, that gave us y to the power of 16. And so we can look at this more abstractly if we have two bases that are the same being multiplied together, which in this case is x, then we simply add the exponents, which in this case is a and b. Now, of course, a and b are usually numbers there, which you would then add together, and that would give you some new value uh, for the exponent. All right, uh, but this is the product rule for exponents. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope it's helped you out.